This is Woke Activist, my tile-bound, vegan-eating-only, ultimate non-binary iron account. This account will be tile-bound, unlocking one tile with every 1000 total XP. It can only cook and eat vegan-sourced food, plus being an ultimate Iron Man, it cannot bank. With the added fact that if any NPC refers to my gender as being male, female, boy, girl, we stop dealing with that NPC. With all of this, our objective is to get into the high-end PVM content and try and kill some of the difficultest bosses in the game, including Jad, Zora and Vorkath. This is the toughest grind I'll ever have to face in RuneScape. Welcome to my journey. So welcome back to another episode and today we are going to be looking at being able to make our own games necklaces. Obviously we're down to one games necklace now with eight charges, which is pretty decent, but I want I, I want to be able to make our own relatively easy. What I will do is unlock one more tile in here because I'm so fed up of waiting for shopkeepers to get close to me. It's an absolute nightmare. So the first part of my plan is to get ourselves a decent magic level. I want to get telekinetic grab so we need to get at least 33 magic which isn't really that hard as soon as this guy gets close to me which he actually is if i close this door and then trade there we go we're going to get ourselves a rope and my plan is to kill fire giants now we don't have to go to entrana anytime soon obviously we've got our dream and staff now my big plan is to go and get ourselves a rune skimmy that's just going to help our melee training massively obviously we might not use it straight away we might just put it in our looting bag, but having a rune skimmy is going to help us massively. And the easiest way of getting that is killing fire giants and we will get some magic XP as well. So that is my plan. So we're going to make our way to the waterfall dungeon, which was another big reason why I wanted to complete the waterfall quest in the first place. So uh, yeah, we're we'll head there now. Okay, so we are here. Well, it took me like 10 minutes just to get to here, but um, here we are. So what I'll do now is I'm pretty much just going to kill fire giants and I'll see you when I get my 33 magic which we need obviously to cast telekinetic grab. And there we go. I've been here a little bit longer than I said I was. I said I was going for 33. We actually ended up getting 34 magic because I thought why not get a couple more kills in and get that rune skimmy and we finally got it. it. Didn't take too long to be honest. As I said it was literally one level extra. But there we go. We've got our magic level and we've got ourselves a room skimmy which is absolutely massive i mean we're, we're probably not going to use it just yet obviously i've been burying the bones as well we're getting relatively close to another prayer level but yeah that is very very nice for the account we're probably not going to use it straight away like i said so what i'm probably going to do is one i'm probably just going to drop this uh, bronze square shield we can get it back real easy from killing goblins if we really had to we did actually get a hit points level as well which doesn't affect things at winter Todd. I think I need to get to like 33 is the maximum I can get to and then any more than that it starts like start taking more damage. I think what we'll do now is we're going to head back and we're going to put the rune skimmy in our looting bag. We're not going to be using it for quite a while yet and then that sets us up for our next part. So there we go our rune skimmy is in our looting bag and there is one thing we need to bear in mind obviously for telekinetic grab we do need to get some lore runes so Next up is how we're going to get them. So our plan to get our lore runes and cosmic runes is killing hill giants. They drop them in a roundabout, I think it's 1 in 40 something. So it's not too bad. I mean, hopefully it shouldn't take too long. I can't exactly say sort of why I'm taking a fair bit of damage. But overall it's not too bad at all. I will have to go back and get some more wines in a second. We've got our lore runes, just need to go for the cosmic runes. We are getting a fair bit of prayer XP and a bit of magic XP as well, which ain't too bad. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Finally got it. There we go. Oh my god, that took way too long. We end up getting six lore runes. How many did I kill, actually? Let's have a little look on the loot tracker. We ended up killing 61. Actually, that was on drop rate then. So it wasn't as bad as I thought. It just took a long time. I was actually ended up finding that there's a safe spot on that corner there. Hence why I was over there. Which meant I didn't have to go back and get food. But there we go. We have ourselves... Two cosmic runes, that means we can make two more necklaces. I'm just going to make one for now, because um, what we'll do is we'll probably put all the lore runes, all the excess lore runes and all the other runes I've picked up. We'll put them in our... I don't know why I'm walking this way, because that's going to take us a lot longer to get there. What we're going to want to do is home telly. 
But yeah, that took like about an hour or so of my time to get that cosmic rune. As I was saying, what we'll do is we'll put any excess cosmic runes, nature runes, lore runes, we're going to put that in our bank. But what we will do now is go and get ourselves our gold bar. So this is the whole reason why I was even getting the magic level in the first place. We've now got 38 magic. Yeah, we went a little bit overboard there, but it's all good. It's all in the bank. We've also got some more tiles. We've almost got another 300 tiles to unlock, which is way more than I needed. But first things first, what we are going to do is make our way to Valrock. So time to get ourselves a gold bar. And now our plan for getting this gold bar, and it's another reason why I've done Romeo and Juliet in the last episode, was to get close to this bank here. So from here, we can unlock some more tiles up and then a few tiles down. Open this door. I think we might have to mark one more tile there. And then from here, I think we should have the ability to telegrab that gold bar over there. Beautiful stuff. You love to see it. So that avoids us having to uh, having to make it ourselves. And yeah, it's pretty easy to get hold of them. So there we go. That now gives us access to make as many games necklaces as we want. What we'll do now is we're going to head back make one games necklace, cast our enchantment on it, and then yeah, we're going to have another two games necklaces, then what we'll do, go to Edgeville and then put it all in our bank, and then we're going to set ourselves up for our next challenge of the episode. And then we just need to cast our level one enchant. There we go, another games necklace in the bank. Uh, we're probably just going to keep that in our inventory, but for now, it is time to kill ourselves, or actually no, we're not killing ourselves, we're just going to chuck a load of stuff in the looting bag. In fact, I might put that games necklace, I mean 8 charges, is a lot of charges. So I think we're going to do that, I think we're going to just chuck the games necklace in the looting bag, and then we've got a spare one, ready to go. We've also got all the all the ingredients to make another one. Yeah, I'm, think, I'm feeling happy with that, let's go and put our stuff in our looting bag. So, for my next plan, and what we're going to be doing next, is going for Mauritania. I think unlocking Mauritania will help this account out massively and it's going to sort of set us up a little bit for fairy rings because we do have to complete a quest in Mauritania. It's going to be a tough one. My plan is to use up this games necklace. Fully use this up and get as much XP in the bank fire making as possible. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a long fire making grind. We might, we might get like halfway through and then think, yeah, we've got more than enough tiles. But... My starting off plan is just to finish it off, but we'll, we'll see how we go. But I'll tie in with you in probably like four or five hours time. Okay. I've had a bit of a disaster. We've died. <laughs> yeah. I risked it. I had two HP left and I was running back to get to the safe spot in Winter Todd. And I'm dead. I'm dead. We've got 579 tiles. My... My only option is to try and work our way to work our way back to Winter Todd. I mean, I don't even know how to get there. How the hell do you get to Winter Todd? I've never even walked there in my entire life. I think you have to go all the way up. Do you have to go up round here? There's got to be a way to get there. It's faster. Oh, you I think you can literally go from here. Oh, you can literally go from here up and then sort of follow this path here, I guess. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. We've got an hour to get back. I'm going to have to switch on my auto marking tiles because there's, there's going to be a lot of tiles. This could be, uh, yeah, this could be very, very sad for, you, for the account. But um, yeah, first protocol, we're going to have to go along here as much as possible. Oh, wow, this is, this is not fun. Oh, wow, look at those tiles disappearing. Down the 400 already, but we are in the, uh, whatever it is, Archaeus area. Um, alright, alright, what will we do? What is that? Is that a freeway there? Can we get through here? I'm not too sure. Oh, it's fucking risky. It is risky. Alright, we're going to have to go through here, I think. Down there. Up around the library. Up, up. <laughs> Going up as far as we can. Oh, I don't know. 400 tiles. I'm hoping we've got enough to get back to my death spot because, well, otherwise I'd lose all of my warm clothing items. I lose all of my runes, my runes skimmy. Oh man, I'm not risking it again. 
I honestly thought oh, I'd be all right, and then I got hit by two, literally one after the other. That is super sad. 360 tiles. I don't think we're going to have enough to get there, you know? <laughs> oh, the tiles. The tiles are going. Oh, this is such a big waste of tiles. Oh, what a massive, massive setback. I mean, this has put me behind hours and hours and hours. Oh wow, but it looks, at least we're we're back, we are back, it looks like we are going to be able to connect to our uh, path. Oh, that was such a big risk I took and it really didn't pay off, I didn't need that tile, I don't know why I used that. And there we go, we are back on, let's turn off the auto marking tiles. We've still got 100 tiles left over, that's not too bad. And at least if I die again in here, we do have access to get, get back. Oh... <laughs> Whoa, that was such a that was a lot of tiles though for that. 400 tiles for all of that. That is so gutting. That is super super gutting, but you learn from your mistakes. Let's make our way in here. This is when we land on a new tile as well. Yeah. We land on a new tile as further as look how close I was to the safe area. Wow. That is absolutely gutting, but um What can you do? You win some, you lose some. And we definitely lost some in this episode. We were literally probably like a couple tiles away. But let's pick up all of our stuff. Well, there you go. That was a hell of a hell of a shit show to be honest. What we could do now, I suppose, is take the opportunity to maybe rearrange some of our stuff. Maybe we'll keep out the rune skimmy for killing stuff. And in the meantime, then we could probably bank all of our runes. I think maybe that might be a better way to do it. Obviously, I was planning to do Priest and Power, and you actually need rune essence for that, so we might as well keep that out. We might as well get as much XP as possible anyway, so we might as well go through the next game. But then I'm going to go back, sort out the looting bag, sort out all, all of that shit again. But yeah, that is very, very sad. And look how this is even more going. I'm too... 2 XP away from another hit points level. That could have been enough to save me. I don't know. I can't remember how my death was now. But yeah, that was sad. <laughs> oh, I don't learn my lesson, do I? That was a close one. <laughs> that was a close call. And I even stayed there. I was on 2 HP. I stayed there to fix the fucking brazier. So I wanted to get that extra construction XP. We're actually at level 3 construction now. And that is another big goal of this episode. After we finish Priest in Peril... I think I'm going to start working towards construction, which I've got a, I've got a little plan of how I'm going to do it, and I think it's probably going to be the best way for this account, and we're also going to get some get some tiles unlocked at the same time. So I've got a plan for construction, but first off, we're going to have to get a load more tiles for, uh, obviously, Priest in Peril, which I don't think it should be that bad. I probably had enough tiles before that death, because that's quite a lot of movement, and that was 400 tiles. For Priest in Peril, I mean, we have to go, obviously, up into Varrock Castle, start the quest. We then do have a big trek where we have to go up here, round here, through here, all the way along here, and then we've got a little bit of movement, like, around there. But overall, that's not too bad. That's got to be, like, 200 tiles, maybe 250 tiles for that. I honestly think probably 500 tiles is more than enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going. Obviously, we've got to go to Edgeville now anyway and sort out, obviously, our inventory. But I think it's doable. I, I honestly think if we get 500 tiles in the bank, maybe go to 600 tiles. I'll see how I'm feeling. We're going to then give it a good shot. And then we're going to start setting ourselves up to do a little bit of construction. Okay, so we have been doing a lot of winter tod and i mean a lot we've now got 84 fire making we've completely used up our games necklace i kind of zoomed on whether or not i was going to do that and in the end i thought why not let's get that xp in the bank we have 1131 tiles to unlock we are absolutely laughing we've got yeah we're, we're, we're laughing we've got a lot to do and we can do a lot of that so we should be absolutely fine First things first, let's start our quest. Okay, so we've got all our mark tiles already selected and what we're gonna be doing now is starting the quest. We've gotta make our way into the castle, so we're just gonna make a straight line through here. There we go. That 
it wasn't too bad actually. We didn't use too many tiles, not as many as I was expecting to use anyway. So uh, yeah, not too bad there. Okay, so I'm thinking I could probably do with a little bit of food. My plan for that is to make our way to the tea store. I mean, we kind of need to go this way anyway, so we'll just go along a little bit. Oh, let's make sure we mark all these tiles properly. And yeah, we'll go a little bit diagonal down there and get... Well, actually, we might as well go straight on still for a little bit. And then head on the way down, get some teas. I mean, they're not the best food, but it's, it's better than absolutely nothing. Beautiful stuff. So they're not too bad. And we're getting a little bit of fever and XP as well, so it's, uh, it's not the worst thing. And whether or not cups of tea class is vegan or not, it depends if you have milk in it. I mean, does that look like it's got milk in it? It looks quite dark to me. I would say that's... I'm going to say that's no milk. I mean, it's a tough one. It's a tough one to go for, but but I'm going to say these cups of tea. I mean, we're pretty strict with everything else. I think there's got to be a little bit of leniency with these cups of tea. I don't think the account is ruined just because I had a sip of tea. I'm I'm yeah, I'm I'm going to put my I'm going to put my reputation on the line and say cups of tea are vegan, especially these ones because they are far too dark to be to have milk in I reckon and there we go that was one hell of a trek but here we are at the uh, next part of the quest thanks buddy yeah I mean yeah I'm, I'm all right with that he's not actually referring to me as male female or anything okay so time to kill a dog beautiful stuff and we shouldn't have too much trouble killing this I don't think He's not going to do too much damage to me, so we're probably just going to be able to drop all these cups of tea anyway. And there we go. One dead dog. Beautiful stuff. Are you a complete imbecile? Mm. I don't like the way he's speaking to me, but... Technically, it's alright against my rules. I can't really cry about it too much, although... I mean, I am a victim here, so... Okay, so I think it's probably worth my while unlocking this bank here as well. I mean, we are going to have to come back and forward. It's not really going to cost that many tiles either, so I think this is probably worth it. And then this way, obviously, we can use our noted pure essence. Unnote that. I'm not sure how many that is in my inventory, but it's going to it's gonna save us one whole trip. We're going to have to go back and forward a little bit, but unfortunately, it's going to be a fair bit of walking. Okay, so this is where we have to give all of our rune over. Still got 30 more to go. We're not going to be able to do this in one inventory. It's going to take us another two whole trips, which is it's going to be pretty savage because, uh, yeah, it's a long old walk back and we've also got to dodge around all of this fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to take us a while, but I'll see you when we get all of the uh, rune essence together. And here we are, the final lot of pure essence. Thank God that has been done. And there we go. That's the quest complete and we finally have access to Mauritania. I mean, we can't just end it here. We're going to have to go on through. We're going to have to pass through the barrier. Make sure I've got my uh, all marking tiles on. Okay. And, oh, we actually got some prayer XP as well from that. Very, very nice. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, let's make our way through and let's have a little look at Mauritania. So, here we are. Ah, oh, it feels nice. It feels nice to unlock a new area. I mean, technically... There's not a massive amount of stuff we can do here at the moment, but it will be useful. It will definitely be useful. I mean, one thing we've got access to now as well, which we can start having a little look at. So we will have access to the swamp, and that does give us access to finally do the quest, Nature Spirit. And then that does work slowly towards being able to use Fairy Rings. So Fairy Rings will be absolutely massive for this account. We are still a little bit off of it yet, and I don't want to focus on it just yet. At the moment, I just wanted to get our foot into Mauritania and we definitely have that now so we are we're definitely setting ourselves up quite nicely at some point we are going to want to start using the ectofunctus and starting to get some prayer and that's definitely going to be a I mean it's probably going to be a relatively decent way of getting prayer for us I don't know yet I'm not 100% sure what we're going to be doing for prayer but we do need to get our protection prayers sooner rather than later because it is going to help us massively but at the moment having access to Mauritania is very very nice so now we've done this step it's time for my step two of my plan so i want to start getting some construction xp i mean i technically already getting quite a bit of xp in winter todd and on the path of getting 99 fire making which we're probably going to be doing we are going to get quite a few construction levels but the higher our construction level the more xp we get so i'm thinking do we get some early construction xp and that's going to help us long term 
I think so. And we need to get some fishing XP anyway, so I'm thinking of doing Temporos. I mean, we're going to have to unlock uh, quite a few tiles to get there, quite a few tiles to actually do the mini game itself. But I think it will be worth it. I think we're going to get quite a bit of XP as well fishing, because it's very, very good low level fishing XP. We're not going to be able to cook anything, so the rewards are going to be a little bit shit. It should still be alright. We'll see how it goes anyway. I mean, we don't need that wolf bane, so we're going to drop that. And obviously all this pure essence we're going to drop as well. So, that didn't actually take too many tiles. I mean, we've got a nice snail path. I mean, we do pass some other interesting things, like the furnace. I mean, there's a bank. I'm not too sure if that's going to be very useful to us. But we do now have access to get to uh, where we need to get to. And here we are. So, I mean... First things first, we are obviously going to want to get to our rewards. We're probably going to have to get our rewards. I'm not sure how many it saves in there. I'm, I have no idea. They were changing it, swapping, and I don't know what it is for Ultimate Iron Man anymore. But we're going to go down there anyway. I mean, it doesn't hurt to get our rewards after every single, uh, every single one. And obviously, we need to get to him to get a net. That set us up quite nicely for this side of things. Next, it is just unlocking the actual mini game itself. So we've got a little bit of a trek to get up onto the boat. Climb up here. And we'll just hang about here for now. And then when we actually get onto the boat and we land where we need to go, obviously we're going to have to go around and pick up all the items we need. We're going to have to unlock, obviously, all of the items. We're going to need buckets. Take a couple of them. Fill these up. Am I on my own? It feels like I'm on my own here. I hope I'm not on my own because I don't know how to solo this, that's for sure. Uh, we're going to have to take, uh, so I might take one rope, that'd be enough, one hammer, and we will have to take ourselves a harpoon. Um, other than that, let's make our way down now and start fishing. I mean, I want to stick to the coastline as much as possible. I mean, we, sh we shouldn't really have to ever cook, so as long as we got like the sort of two coastlines on either side, that should do us quite nicely. Obviously, we're going to have to unlock some of these buckets. Uh, we're also going to want to put out that fire over there before that becomes a little bit of an issue. Might as well fill up some water while we're here. And, yeah, let's start doing this. I've used a lot of tiles already, but we have marked quite a little bit of area here. So, um, yeah, that's quite nice. Um, well, let's go and fill up this other crate over here. Oh, we're on the other boat now. Oh, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect because that sets us up perfectly to do what I, I want to do. Because I wanted to unlock this side as well exactly the same so move along here we have access to all the things we had before and now we want to move our way down so other than the two sort of dock areas we've pretty much got everything covered that we need to i mean i might just kind of cover this little corner here just for the sake of it but other than that we've pretty much got the whole of fishing todd sorted so that is awesome access to get to here now i mean this is pretty decent XP as well. There we go, our very first Temporos kill, and we only got one reward ward permit. That's uh, that's a little bit sad, but still, could be a lot worse. I mean, we've unlocked the whole area, though, that we need to. I mean, that looks pretty nice. I might just go one more that way, just in case, but not too bad at all. What I will do is, we might as well get our first reward, see what we've got, and let's have a look, see what we've got. Raw mackerel, useless for us, so we're going to drop it. But there we go, not too bad for our first ever Temporos. Hopefully we get the other side now because there's a few more tiles I want to unlock on that side. Other than that though, we've pretty much got the whole of Temporos available to us, which is pretty nice. We actually got, I actually was getting 17k XP per hour as well, which I mean it's not Winter Todd, but that is still very, very nice. And perfect, this is the other side of the boat. I think this is the other side of the boat, or is this the side I've already unlocked most of? Oh no, this is the perfect, this is the actual perfect side. So, what I will do is just unlock all the way around here. We've still got 400 tiles left. I've got more than I was expecting I would have, to be fair. But uh, what we will need is a hammer, so let's grab one of them. Uh, and yeah, we'll make our way down. But, uh, we're looking pretty good. So, there we go. That is, we've now killed 24 Temporosses. To be honest, it's tough. I'm not going to lie, it, it's... They're very lengthy kills. I'm lucky to get one point, one reward point per kill. We've currently got 33 permits. Every now and again, I do get two. Sometimes I don't even get one. So, uh, yeah, it's very slow. We've been doing it for coming up to three hours now. And I think it's time to see if we got anything. Hopefully, this is all worth it. Let's get ourselves a net. And it's time to start getting our rewards. 
I hope uh, I hope it's not all fish because fish is useless. So are spirit flakes, to be honest. Wait, oak planks? I don't think we can actually even use them yet. So, uh, but at least we got some sort of planks, I guess. And there we go. Three hours of temple or us. And the only planks we got were 23 oak planks. Which is better than nothing. Obviously we got a casket as well. We might as well open that. 75 gold bars. That's actually quite good. I'm definitely going to keep hold of that. Because we can obviously just put them in our looting bag. Here and there. Seaweed actually is not too bad for the account as well. I mean any sort of craft and XP is definitely going to help us out. So... Overall, that's not too bad. It feels a little bit bad dropping all these spirit flakes. But, I mean, we kind of have to do it. Which is a little bit sad, but... Yeah, here it goes. So I'm probably not going to be doing any more Temporos, because it's just too slow. I mean, we did actually get a little bit of uh, construction XP, like mending the masts and all that sort of stuff. So, it wasn't too bad. And we did get 50 fishing out of it, so we got a lot of XP. we still got 426 tiles, which is quite good. What I'm going to do now is, obviously, we're going to drop all this because we do not need this anymore. And what we're going to do is something that I had a little idea of. It's just a way to get the odd little bit of construction XP. I mean, every little bit we can get on this account is going to help. So, my plan is every time we sort of get the teleport back, we'll be going to Fishing Trawler. And then from, from Fishing Trawler, there is a couple spawns of planks on the floor. So, so here is two spawns of planks, which... It's definitely going to help us a little bit. I mean, they're free planks at the end of the day. And obviously, we can just hop worlds and collect as many of them as possible. And, I mean, we've only got to wait like 20 minutes for the uh, for the thing to recharge. So, it's not too bad at the end of the day. What we will need to get as well is obviously a saw, a hammer, and we do need to get some nails as well. And to be honest, I think probably the best way to do this... We, it's probably worthwhile unlocking the lumber yard anyway. Being able to make our own as well, I mean, obviously it's going to cost us a bit of money, but still, it's definitely going to speed up things a little bit if we need to. And also having access to nails and stuff is quite handy as well. So so I think my plan is to unlock the lumber yard and then obviously we'll be able to uh, be able to get our items from that. So I don't think we have to unlock too many tiles to get up here. Um, we've got our auto mark tile on and let's see just how many it takes so there is our saw and um do i buy some box of cloth as well probably not just yet um i think i'm just gonna buy some steel nails they're not that expensive I just buy like a fair few of them and now it is time to unlock the house itself we've got to make our way to rimington it's a hell of a trek but yeah, it's not too bad. Obviously, I still need to pick up a hammer. I thought the sawman would uh, sell that, but it doesn't matter because we're going to have to pass the general store in Lumbridge anyway. But now, yeah, we've got a hell of a trek now to get all the way back to Lumbridge, and my run has run out. Jesus, this is going to take a long time. Okay, so we are all set up. We are at the end of our trail. We have a long trek ahead of us. I think it's probably good just to go along this path, and then we might have to divert here, maybe. We might be able to... Shave a couple of tiles off if we go diagonally, and then obviously down to the house, and then we might as well unlock the uh, unlock the ability to unnote stuff as well over here. I think that's probably probably going to be our best option. So uh, auto mark tiles is on, and I'll see you. Hopefully, we'll get there. Three hundred eighty eight tiles. That is quite a lot of tiles. It's going to be clutch. We'll see how we go. And there we go. We still got two hundred and fifty two tiles left. But we have unlocked the house pool. Now, we might as well keep going. As I said, obviously, unlocking uh, Phileas, or however you say that. That will obviously help us unnote some of these items. So, uh, yeah, we might as well make it there first. There we go. Beautiful stuff. I might just unlock a few more tiles around here as well. There we go. That should probably be enough. Now, now is another big question. Obviously, we have the house. We have the house portal. Do we mark the tiles within the house? Obviously, we are doing random events because people quite quite rightly said the game mode was hard enough and people said not to mark tiles within random events. This is obviously instant still. Okay, so auto-marking tiles does not work in the house anyway. Is that a sign that I shouldn't be using marked tiles? I... I don't know. I'll tell you what we're going to do. As the auto mark tiles does not mark the tiles within here, 
I'm going to say this is safe. If you guys all think I should be marking the tiles, I'll go back here and we'll mark the tiles. But for now, we're going to stick without marking them. I mean, we're technically... We're technically in an instanced world. We're not really in RuneScape, so... I'm not going to mark the tiles just yet. But what we will do is switch, obviously, building mode on. And it's time to make our first couple chairs. And... Oh, that is actually some very, very good XP. That's actually better than I was expecting. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to build a rug there. And 14 construction coming in. We can now make rocking chairs. Might as well build some bookcases, I guess. Just having a look, seeing... Is there anything we could do? I mean, unlocking a kitchen would be quite nice. There's not much we can do with it just yet. Uh, obviously, we can't unlock the workshop just yet. But we are cutting close. I think we'll, we'll unlock a kitchen. I mean, there's not much, as I said, there's not much we can actually do within this just yet. But that still sets me up quite nicely, I think. And the only thing we can actually build in here at the moment is the shelf. So there we go. Not too bad. Obviously, eventually we'll be able to build a larder. We're a little far off of building the stove space at the moment. So we'll obviously keep that on hold for now. But at the moment, looking pretty decent. We've got ourselves a house. We still need to get a fair bit of XP to get um, the ability to use our oak planks. I think we might do it. We might go back and forth. Oh, it's such a long trek, though. That's the only problem. The problem is the, the massive, massive trek. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this episode. Our future plans, obviously, we'll try and get a little bit more construction XP. I think I am just going to go back and forward, picking up planks, coming back here. Obviously, we can probably put a lot of this stuff in our looting bag now. The oak planks I might leave out because it would be nice to just use them up considering we worked so hard to get them. Other than that, though, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel out massively. And as always, I'll see you next time. Peace out.